Now, the CEO of the BRVM, Edo Kosi Amenova, says the capital markets can help African companies and countries raise long-term finance for economic growth. CNBC Africa's Christy Cole caught up with him on the sidelines of the Togo EU Economic Forum to discuss how capital markets can drive growth on the continent. Very important forum because, um, you know, um, Togo uh, has uh, a long-term relationship uh, with the uh, European Union. And as the government of Togo uh, is in the process of uh, uh, launching um, some action that are based on the National uh, Development Plan. It is important, it was important to have here um, people coming from Europe and Togolese to talk together to see how uh, they can work uh, to uh, have some action implemented in the National uh, Development Plan. So for me, it, it is very important to do that. Uh, that is the first time that we can uh, sit together with uh, public people, private sector and uh, some financial institutions to discuss how we can uh, finance or can find some solutions to uh, finance the Togolese economy. Talking about sitting together with members of the public as well as the private sector, a few minutes ago you were on the panel session with some captains of industry talking essentially about access to finance within Africa. Can you speak to me of some of your high points from that panel conversation? You know, um, uh, on this panel uh, I tried to uh, explain how it is important to make an emphasis on um, the long-term financing in Africa. Because when we talk uh, about financing in Africa, we essentially talk about uh, banks. Uh, but if we need to create growth in Africa for the long term, if we need to have our economy grow for the long term, we need to finance our economy in the long term. And we need uh, to do that long-term financing. And where can you find this long-term financing? It is on the capital markets. And uh, that is why I was on this panel, to uh, share my thoughts with uh, all the other panelists on how uh, the Togolese uh, companies and the Togolese government can access the BRVM, can access the uh, financial market of the WAMU to raise money because that is one of the purpose of the uh, National Development Plan, how to finance uh, our economy. And uh, uh, I talk about the two main instruments we have actually, uh, debt financing and equity financing. For the debt financing, uh, I think that the Togolese government, uh, and that is already uh, stated in the uh, National Development Plan, uh, the Togo government will access our market to raise money. To raise money, and uh, I think that is uh, very good news for the Bavarian. Uh, and um, the government also stated in the national plan that they can use the market for privatization, they can use the market for, uh, to develop the private sector. So I think that uh, that also can uh, contribute to accelerate the, uh, the, the growth of the, the BRVM by having more uh, listed companies. Actually, we have only two uh, institutional um, banks group that are based in Togo uh, that are listed on the BRVM. We need to have more uh, companies coming from the, the country, from industries, from uh, financial services and so on. And uh, I think that uh, that is a good opportunity to share with these uh, uh, Togolese uh, companies um, how we can help them uh, to come to the market and, and raise money. It was also interesting at some point to actually hear you hinge your conversation on seeking human capital development within the continent. As the CEO of the BRVM, what areas would you say appear to be of particular interest to investors in the BRVM? Um, first, on the capital, uh, women capital, uh, I think that that is a very important issue for the continent. 
because uh, we um, have to develop our human capital in all the areas. First of all, I think that for the uh, SMEs, for example, the main problem we have with the SMEs is not uh, a problem of financing. They seek for financing, but they don't have all the resources, human resources, to handle, to run a company uh, so that they can access and market and build a confidence with investors. That is very, very important. Uh, it's for that reason that I say that it's important to uh, have some programs to help these SMEs uh, to grow and to have these SMEs to develop human capital. And you know that Togo has also the ambition to be a hub for business, a hub for uh, it's like an international financial center in Togo. Uh, for that, the country needs also to have uh, uh, human capital developed because when company will come here to, uh, to have their headquarters in Togo, they need to have uh, uh, human resources of, of quality. They need to have lawyers, they need to have uh, uh, financial analysts and, and so on. So uh, for me, it is very, very important to uh, develop human capital in Togo in, in all the region to, 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 to accelerate the, uh, the growth of our, our, our economy. Uh, now, uh, if um, uh, I have to talk about which sector can be um, used uh, to develop our, our market, I can say that uh, actually we have many companies listed on the BRVM coming from the financial sector. We have many banks. Uh, we have uh, some uh, telecom companies in Senegal, uh, in, in Burkina Faso, uh, but we don't have uh, many industries listed on the market. We don't have uh, insurance companies also. We don't have uh, mining companies and so on. I, I think that is important for our region to uh, see how we can attract more and more industries, more and more uh, insurance companies and uh, uh, mining companies to our market. Do you think that there are opportunities for investments in these industries that you have mentioned? And more importantly, to what extent would you say that you have actually thought up or proposed strategies that could help to attract investors in this regard to the BRVM? Yes, I think that uh, uh, there are many opportunities in this area because when we talk about uh, economic transformation in Africa, we talk about industrialization. Uh, if we have some industries in Africa, where are they going to find money if they don't access the capital market to raise long-term uh, financing? So for me, uh, we have uh, some huge opportunities in, the, in this industry uh, area. And uh, I think also that um, in terms of uh, creating uh, an environment that, is, uh, that can attract new companies, uh, we have um, uh, to uh, continue to sensitize some um, industry captains, uh, some uh, African leaders, government, to have them involved uh, seriously in the capital market issue. And uh, uh, I think also that uh, we can uh, uh, continue to have some policies that can attract more and more local investors. You know, uh, people can tell you that uh, London is the, seg the second uh, financial market or the first financial market in Africa. Uh, I think that uh, we cannot continue to do that. We cannot uh, let our uh, big companies go into London or Europe to raise money, listed on uh, European uh, uh, markets and uh, in our continent. Uh, we don't have uh, the depth we need. To, to attack or the liquidity we need to attack them to stay on the continent. Uh, so for me, it is important to uh, deal with 
this issue very quickly. Uh, if our uh, national markets don't have the capacity to attract big companies, we have to integrate more our, our markets. Uh, if, for example, you have a, a market that is fully integrated between Ghana, Nigeria, and BRVN, we'll have a bigger market. And the market, this market will be the second market in Africa. So Dangote can raise money not only in Nigeria. Dangote can raise money in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Togo, Benin, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, etc. And if uh, the Togolese government want to issue a bond, this bond can be uh, subscribed in uh, Nigeria, in Ghana, uh, in, in Cote d'Ivoire, etc. So if we have a bigger market, uh, we'll have the depth, the liquidity that we need to, to attract and uh, to have our uh, big companies, our government stay on the, on, on the continent. That is very important. To do that, we need to integrate our market. We need also to create uh, the condition to develop pension funds, insurance companies, so they can uh, be uh, big players on, uh, on our markets. So talking bonds now just reminded me of the fact that due to the latest financial rankings for Togo, there are strong talks that the country may actually list a 500 million uh, euros, um, euro bond. Speak to me on to what extent this may impact the BRVM, if it, if it will, and implications for the Togolese economy at this point. Uh, I think that what uh, I understand is that uh, the Togolese government uh, will uh, issue this bond to assess for the first time the international market and uh, use it to reduce the uh, local debt. So um, it is a good thing. Uh, and I think that uh, that will also give the opportunity to the Togolese market, to, to the Togolese government, to see uh, what is the appetite of uh, international investors, investors for for this uh, for this country. Uh, it is important to do that. But I think also that uh, uh, the government, as uh, they said, they will also use the local market uh, to raise. Uh, money also. That, that is for me also important. And uh, I think that uh, if uh, they combine both international and local, they will fund the money uh, they need to finance the national development plan. My final question to you, sir. As um, markets across the world continue to respond to the global slide in trade, owing to oil prices plummeting and then the global trade wars that we have been seeing, how would you say that BRVM has been responding to the shocks externally? Uh, it is very difficult for us. You know, um, our market uh, experienced in the last five years a, a, a quick growth uh, between 2012 and 2015. We uh, have a growth of 80 percent. But uh, from 2006, uh, 16 to uh, 2018, we have uh, a decrease of uh, maybe 50 percent. So it is a very tough time for our market. But what is important and what I used to uh, tell to the investors is that the uh, fundamentals of our economics are very strong. Uh, the economic growth of our region is very, very important. The perspectives are also good. So there is no reason to not invest in uh, listed companies in our region or in Africa. Uh, maybe actually there are some conditions that uh, prevent some investors to be active in our market because of uh, these uh, factors we talk about. But for the long term, uh, our financial markets remain uh, good opportunities for local and international investors. And that was the CEO of the BRVM, Edo Kosi Amenova. And that's a wrap on Beyond Markets, and thank you so much for joining us. Remember, you can watch the show at 5 p.m. West African time daily and have access to all previous episodes of Beyond Markets on our website. That's at cnbcafrica.com. And stay engaged with the hashtag Beyond Markets and follow me at Kennedy Bomo. Do have a wonderful day.